My name is Arletha Banks and I'm the District Chef, Kitchen and Production Manager for Holland Nutritional Services. I uh, make sure that the food is where it needs to be. Every school has their supplies. I make sure that I am basically just a phone call away from all of our staff, which is about 25 district-wide, with any concerns or um, problems that they have. Um, success for me looks like a smile on a child's face when they receive uh, a cookie or when we did our Black History meals this year just to see the smiles on their face to be able to try a different ethnic food. Um, doing hot food in our K-5 after two years. We did that this week and the students were just elated and that's success to me. Perfect example, I was in Walmart one day here in Holland and just shopping after work and there was a young lady, I heard her tell her mom, that's our lunch lady, mom. She is so nice and she brought her mom over and introduced her mom to me and she uh, let her know who I was and I was able to interact with them outside of work. Um, before I came to, I've been in the food service industry now 30 years. I've been a lunch lady for a lot of people. I was sitting at a stoplight in my hometown where I live and I heard a horn blowing and I looked over and there was a young man waving his hands and he rolled down the window and he said, Miss Banks, I remember you. You were the best lunch lady I ever had. And he told his kids in the car, everybody need a lunch lady like Miss Banks. Love you, Miss Banks. And he just took off. And I couldn't tell you who he was, but he remembered me. And that makes it all worthwhile. I think leading with your team is important. Um, not asking them to do something that you wouldn't do. Being able to, with food service, to sweep a floor, mop a floor, wash a dish, or cook a meal. As leaders, we can't sit in on our throne and give our orders and have people do what need to be done without being a part of that team. To get to be a leader, you have to be a team player, and it doesn't stop once you get into that leadership position. You don't always have to be number one to be the leader. You can lead from behind. And I think that's our best way to show others that leading isn't so hard. Yes, it gets hard, but we can handle it. So I think leading from the margins, is, is, it stops the problem before it grows. To overcome struggles, I, I approach them calmly and with an open eye and all sides of the problem, where the issues, if it's my fault or it lays in someone else's lap that is their fault, but we work at it until we can figure it out and we make sure that um, our end of the service part for food service is complete. I think it has to be across the board. I can't treat one person different from the other. I can't coddle or, or baby or make sure that, make it easy. And not that I'm trying to make it hard, but I just want my staff to be able to take the lead on some things, you know. So if one building has an issue and the other building has the same issue, I'm straight across the board. I just want them to be able to, yes, be able to come to me, but if it can be solved on their level, take the lead and go ahead and do it. Let me know this is what happened, this is how I handled it. But I don't want to be labeled, and not even soft, but it's just the fact that favorites. I don't want favorites. I don't want people to think that I like one more than the other. I like all, I, I like all of my staff and I treat everyone exactly the same. Just to let, you know, little girls and even boys of color, no matter your race or your ethnicity, if you work hard and push, you can always succeed. And success doesn't always add up to money, but it's the comfort in knowing that you've served someone somewhere and made a difference in their life.